player dueling game right here um and how this works and i'll go ahead just for the sake of playing this uh i will be the first player but the actual yeah, rule book then. states the youngest player actually gets to go first um that is actually in the official rules but for the sake of just cool. setting stuff up because there is a particular setup method i'll go ahead and yeah, do this great. um so what you'll have is that you'll have a sidekick which is your little token right here i have mine okay. mine's the jabber walk um and then i have alice cool. right here so what you do is that when you look at the board um the player's going to decide to place their uh, token either on the one or the two slot i'm going to go put mine on the one slot um, after that, I then take my sidekick and I get to put it in any zone on um, that matches this particular miniature right here. Now, zone essentially is anything with the same color slash texture. So this stones region right here is my zone. Mm -hmm. I do know. Was it Will Smith? Aren't you slightly colorblind? I am. D can you can you tell the difference blind, of actually. stuff here? Yes. So for right now, yes. Okay. All right. Good. So yeah, that's the only downside. I know these boards aren't necessarily the most colorblind friendly things on the on the no. Way. Um, so I get to put my sidekick anywhere in that zone. So there you go. So now you get to do the same things. You get to put King Arthur here, and then you get to place Merlin in any of the purple spots. All right. Purple. Okay. Sure. Yeah. yeah like, like literally, you could put it right there if you wanted to. Uh. I'm gonna. I don't know the advantage. I'm gonna put him on. It's okay. Bridge. I'm still learning too, so don't feel bad. Um, okay. So uh, as you will see, uh, you have your health gauges right here. Um, you basically just click on the left and the right arrows to increase and decrease health, as you see fit. You will also have your little character portrait card right here on top of your deck. You're gonna actually take that off, and then your deck is right here. Cool. Go ahead and shuffle it up. And then draw five cards. Now, I have a special ability at the start of the game. I get to choose whether I'm big or small. I'm going to actually choose to be small because that's what I do. So uh, right. your character is going to have this little unique um, effect on them. Mm -hmm. As well as it's going to tell you if that character, if your psychic or main hero is melee or ranged. And guess what? Okay. The object of the game is to defeat your opponent's hero. So this, okay. this character needs to be depleted to zero. You can deplete the sidekick's health to zero, but um, what is it? That doesn't matter. If you just get rid of them, they're just gone from the game. Sure. Um, all, right. all, all that stuff. Um, so on your turn, luckily enough, these cards, actually, if you flip them over, have all the things you do on your turn. Uh, you take two actions. You always must take two actions. Uh, there is no passing. Um, there are three actions you can take. There is maneuver, which is draw a card, and then move your fighters up to their boost value, or, or their move value. My bad, I got ahead of myself. Mm -hmm. So literally, my both of our moves are two, and both of sure. the characters are two, and that means you can move both Merlin and King Arthur up to two spaces. You're not limited to, All like, right. two overall. Mm. Now, what you do is that you can boost it, and I'll just show you my card, which means is that you can actually discard a card and increase the movement by the value of the boost icon, which is this little circle on the card. Um, after that, what you can also do is you can play a scheme. Uh, these are specials from um, Epic Duels, where essentially you'll have a scheme card in hand, you'll have the lightning bolt on it, and essentially you play it and then it resolve the text. The last thing that you can do is you can attack. So as long as you are within the range of your opponent, uh, melee means you have to be adjacent, while ranged means you just have to be in the same zone. So, for example, mm. with Merlin, Merlin's the only ranged character. Okay. He can't currently hit any of my characters, but uh, he can still hit adjacent, like, melee style. Okay. But let's say if Alice was here, you oh, can okay. hit Alice so, from over there. Um, even, Merlin's no joke, good, if Alice uh, was here. And I use over there. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so that Merlin's works. pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty cool how that works. Okay. Um, now the catch is that when you are attacking and defending, which we'll get to, you do have to mm -hmm. use cards that belong to that particular character. So it'll either okay. say any, your main hero or your sidekick, mm. any works for either okay. character. Uh, the particular, uh, text on the side will say what character it will belong to. Yeah. Um, and essentially how it works is that attacker places a card down the defender chooses if they want to place a card down, then you reveal uh -huh. defense reduces the amount of damage you would take cards resolve. Um, if cool. text would resolve at the same time, um, so there's usually like an after combat effect, uh, the, the defender's mm -hmm. text always takes place before the attackers. Okay. And that's it. All right. I know that was a lot. 
This game is relatively straightforward. Um, I think I get it. Yeah, it's pretty quick. It's pretty easy. Um, the thing, uh, your basic gimmick is that when King Arthur attacks, you can essentially discard a card face down with the card you're attacking with and mm -hmm. add its boost value to the overarching attack. Um, so yeah, that's kind of your little gimmick. So you can just do giant cleaves of damage at me with King Arthur. All right. Yeah. So since I am the first player, I do get to take the first action, um, which I need to make decisions now. Um, I'm looking. Ooh, 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 ooh. Um, let's let's do this. So we're gonna maneuver. So which means I first draw a card, and then I get to move each of my characters up to two spaces. So I'm going to Kerchunk. Chunk like that. Um, then I'm going to attack Merlin mm -hmm. with Alice with this card. Okay, so I could defend if I wanted to, correct? Yes, that is correct. Now, if you okay. defend, you have to either play an any card or a Merlin card. An any card or a Merlin card. Okay, I am going to. These cards. Okay, so now we're gonna reveal. Yes. Ooh, you went ahead and played that one. That's a good one. So um, during combat takes effect now, so it's gonna prevent all the damage, and then mm -hmm. your after combat is gonna take place first. So you can place Merlin in any space. <laughs> so he's all the way over there. My <laughs> after combat. Yeah, there you go. My after combat's not okay. going to take place because it requires uh -huh. me to win. In order for me to win, I have to deal at least one damage to you. The defender wins sure. if they take no damage. So there you go. So those cards just get put in our little discard piles. And then there we go. So that is my two right. actions. It is now to you. All right. Someone so. says this, but they were made with colorblind people in mind. They were. I probably yes, believe the that. The texturing is good for that, yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't know if you can tell the texturing. Yeah, the, the texturing I can see. Uh, the colors are, are less... They're, they're less fun. Less helpful. Yeah. yeah. Uh, like I said, that's why the texturing is important. So theoretically, I, I could uh, attack... Wait, did you just move? With Merlin. Yeah, I, I moved too. Oh, did you draw a card? Oh, no, I did not. Yeah, you always draw a card before you move. Okay. And if you want okay. to, you can move Merlin two spaces as well. I, I could do that. Yes, that's correct. Okay. Uh... I, just I just wanted to snipe Merlin. That's all I wanted to do. I understand. I am going to do this card with Merlin... Oh, that's right. I forgot that you could attack yes. all the way over there. Because Jesus. I can be over here. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, who are, who are, so who are you attacking? Because you could technically attack uh, you online. mine. I'll attack Alice, sure. All right, okay, just making sure. Now I have to make decisions. Um. Oh, man, I have decisions. I don't like any. Okay, let's do this one. So I'm going to defend with this card. And now we're going to reveal. All right. Ugh. So, there you go. So, three, I block three. it. Okay. Um, and then my after combat takes place first. So, move each okay. of your fighters up to two spaces and then change size. Uh -huh. So, okay. going to move the jabbers over here. And then I'll move Alice here. And then sure. I get to um, change size. I must. So Alice actually is now big. She's now mighty thick. All right. So there you go. Uh, so now you can move yeah. Merlin up to four spaces. I can, I can move Merlin up to four spaces. Yes. So I'll move him one space. Okay. And call it a day. All right. Is that it? Mm-hmm. 
All right, so back to me. I'm going to attack King Arthur with the Jabber walk thingy. I'm uh -huh. going to play this card. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do this one. Okay. So. Oh, you suck! <laughs> <laughs> so. These faint cards are really good. At each basically uh -huh. each character has these. So you okay, cancel all right. of my effects. My effect yeah. is gonna be I increase this to five <laughs> since I'm attacking the hero, but it's only yeah, three. Yeah, that's so. what I was afraid of. Yeah, so Arthur's gonna take <laughs> only one damage. One damage, okay. Uh so you get click on the left arrow. I was messing with this earlier. Oh, okay. It's arrows. Yeah. There you go. Okay, yeah, it's I not see. it's not that, yeah. Okay. Um and then Hmm. I think I will maneuver. Ah! There you go. Alice is there. Okay. That's my two actions. Cool. All right. What's up? Also, not my dance. I just looked at your comment in chat. That is the most hilarious thing ever. Joker <laughs> casually making Will play a game in which he's genetically disadvantaged. <laughs> that is really uh, hard. Yeah, that's probably And it true. shouldn't be, but it is. <laughs> I'm going to draw two. Okay. Well, oh, you're drawing two. Oh, well, yeah. Damn it. Are you, you go to five? or you No, just draw you don't one? draw up at the end okay. of your turn. I'm very confused. What, you only what? draw when okay, you move. On. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now I get it. I'm gonna. Okay. That's yeah. fine. You only you only draw when you maneuver. Yeah. I'm okay. That's fine. I you should read no the worries. cards. Hold on. Draw. Okay. I see. Yeah. I see. You're good. All right. I'm intelligent. No, it's okay. Uh, You're learning a new game. It is. Okay. Now your hands, your max hand size is seven. So at the end of your turn, if you okay. have more than seven cards, you have to discard down. Drop them. Okay. All right. I am gonna do this card on Alice with Arthur and Ooh. boost it. Ooh. We're gonna do this one. So here we go. Oh, baby. So you may boost this attack. So you can even put another card into this one if you'd like to. Uh you know what? Sure, why not? Yeah, so flip it up. Uh, give me. So that is two, three, four, five, six to my two. Okay, great. So Alice is going right. to take four damage. Bye, Alice. There we go. And then um, my after combat ability is going to resolve. Um, so I get to choose two different effects. I can recover three health, draw two cards, or place Alice in any other space. So I'm going to recover mm -hmm. three health, <laughs> and then I'm going to draw two Probably cards. Probably reasonable. All right. Cool. All right, so all those get discarded. Done. And now cool. you have one more action. I do. Uh, I am going to draw a card and move Merlin here. There you go. Yeah, I was going to say, because you um, the movement is a May, so you don't have no. to. Yeah. Oh, I to, just, just zero, zero, me. <sighs> All right, so Alice is going to attack Merlin. Or not Merlin, uh, King Arthur. Nice okay. Card. Uh, I don't if you don't have a card to defend, you don't so, defend. Yeah, or you can I'm choose not, not to. So, yeah, that's, your, that's okay. yours. So 
It's a three during the top card of, of or draw, discard the top card of your deck. I can't freaking talk today. So it's a boost values two, so I get to add that to this. Uh -huh. So King Arthur's going to take five damage. Oh, boy. And just to let you know, the purple with the shield and the damage means it's versatile, so you can use that for okay. either defending or attacking. Okay, great. Um. Oh, okay. See, I didn't see the blue and the purple, so, okay. Oh, no. Now I just got that. Oh, no, the okay. genetically disadvantage is coming into play. <laughs> okay. Okay, I now see that there's a versatile and a defend card. I didn't realize those are two different things. Okay, great. Are okay. we gonna be okay? <laughs> oh no! Um, I'm gonna attack again as I actually rotate my camera with this card. Okay. And uh, defend it. No. All right. It's only one damage. Okay, that's fine. But uh, after combat, if I won the combat, uh -huh. I draw two cards. Great. And that's my go. Yippee. Uh, uh, like, no. <laughs> no, my, my greatest weakness is coming into play right now. Okay, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and attack with this, with my Arthur and Alice. Okay. Oh. Let's do that one. Okay. So I faint you. Uh, so I'm going to take one fun. damage. Yeah. Bye-bye. Uh, I'm gonna move not anyone and just draw a card. Okay. Oh, you know, I just realized I should have dealt two more damage to you because I was big. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, both times. So you should have additional four damage on you. Yikes. <laughs> Oops. Great. There you cool. go. Yeah, I forgot the big thing. So when I'm big, all my <laughs> damage cards get plus two. Um, Yikes, okay. Yeah, you're like, oh no. Um, yeah, this is a bigger problem than I thought yeah, it was. There you go. I'm going to maneuver. Uh -huh. And guess what? I'm going to attack Arthur with the Jabberwock. Okay, I'm going to do this. Okay. Bam. Bam. Ooh, okay. So your after combat effect takes place first. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, that sucks, because uh, my ability doesn't <laughs> take place. And since it's the Jabberwock, exactly. that plus two damage doesn't take effect. Yes. So, um, there we go. That is my go. All right. Cool. I, I am at... Uh... All right, so... What am I going to do? I don't know what you want to do today. <laughs> uh, I'm going to... Uh, I just want to draw some cards. Yeah, I'm going to draw two cards and call it a day. Okay, you're not going to move? Nope. Okay. I'm satisfied. Hmm. So I'll maneuver. So I'm going to draw a card. Uh huh. And. Hey, buddy. And then we're going to attack with a Jabberwock on King Arthur. Okay. Um. Oh my gosh. So you take one damage. I take one. And then you get to move up to five spaces, and then my ability Watch. doesn't trigger. I'll go over here. So there you go, yeah. yeah. So I, I would get to deal damage to you, but you are adjacent to me. You suck. Hooray. All right. That's my go. Lovely. Okay. Uh, I am going to move Arthur over here. And draw one. Uh. Okay. I am going to. 
play this lightning -y card. Okay, this game. And move everybody. Ooh, okay. So you can move each fighter up to three spaces. So he can go over here. Merlin will go here. Alice can chill out. Uh, you know what? Merlin's actually gonna go here. Alice can chill out over there. And Arthur's gonna take a big boy seat right here. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. As we go. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's see what I can do here. So I'm gonna maneuver. Draw a card. Hey. Okay. One, two. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna attack King Arthur with Alice. <clears throat> with her giant cleaving knife. She can giant somewhere else. Oh crap. Alright. <laughs> I think you still do a, a a one to me though. There you go. So. Yeah, that's right, because of the plus two. So you take yeah. one, and then your after combat effect takes place. That's if I win those. Which so. you didn't, which mine now takes I place. If you won yeah. the combat, look at your opponent's hand and choose one card for them to discard. <laughs> you fool. Which there was none. <laughs> um, all right, that's that's my go. Too uh, okay. I'm going to... King Arthur's getting his uh, king kingdom come, you know, yeah. handed to him right now. King Arthur's going to go over here. I'm going to draw one. Uh, and gosh darn it. Um, I'm going to move Merlin here and draw one. Okay. Okay, cool. I had a maneuver. It's going to draw a card. Uh-huh. And... We'll do that. Uh -huh. And then we will attack Mr. Arthur with this card. I bet you will. I've got nothing. You got nothing? I believe that is game, because that is four uh -huh. plus two is six. That's a lot. That'll do it. There you go. I just slashed King Arthur right off. No. Right off right there. He's how just going to... He's unfortunate. That's how he dies. He's upside down. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's, that's how he's talent. going out. He's going, he's going out upside down right there. Fair. There you go.